imagine waking up one morning and your Galaxy suddenly feels like a whole new phone. Faster, smarter, and packed with features you didn't even know you wanted. That's exactly what's about to happen because Samsung's One UI 8 rollout is officially here, and this is not just a normal update. This is the update that reshapes how your Galaxy works every single day. And the schedule we just got, it's full of surprises. Welcome back, viewers. Sam here! If you love staying ahead on the latest Galaxy updates, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon so you never miss the next big drop. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Samsung isn't just flipping the switch for everyone at once. The rollout officially kicks off on September 18, starting with the Galaxy S25, S25 Plus, and S25 Ultra. But here's the twist. The S25 Edge isn't part of this first wave. Instead, it joins the second batch a week later on September 25 alongside the entire S24 series, including the S24 FE. That late May launch date might finally explain why it missed out on the beta. But here's where things get really exciting. S23 owners, your turn comes October 2. That's right, all S23 models, including the FE, are in the same wave, meaning if you've been waiting patiently since last year, your patience is about to pay off. Just a few days later, on October 6, the S22 lineup joins in, and yes, even the S21 FE 5G is scheduled to get the update in early October, which is a pretty solid commitment for a phone that launched back in 2022. And it's not just the flagships. Foldable fans, Samsung hasn't forgotten you. The Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6 are expected to get one UI 8 on October 2, the same day as the S23 series, while the Fold 5 and Flip 5 are getting it October 13. Fold 4 and Flip 4 users will need to hang tight until around October 6. This phased rollout makes sense because Samsung wants its most popular models to go first, then tackle the devices that need extra testing for their foldable form factors. Galaxy A series users, you're next. Your turn begins September 25 with the A56 and A36 and continues through October. If you own an A35 or A34, your update will likely land right around Halloween. So you can think of it as a software treat. Budget models like the M series and X Cover series are scheduled for November, with the X Cover 7 Pro dropping November 10. And yes, Samsung hasn't forgotten about tablets or wearables. The Galaxy Tab S10 series actually gets the update surprisingly early on October 1. The Tab S10 FE Plus and Tab S10 FE Plus 5G follow on October 9, while the more affordable Tab A9 joins the party November 5. And here's a fun surprise Galaxy Watch users are included too. Watch 7, Watch 6 Classic, Watch 6, and Watch FE all get the update on October 1, while Watch 5 Pro through Watch 4 owners will see it in early November. Now, here's the part that's got everyone buzzing. If you're in the US and own an S23 series phone, you can skip the wait entirely and jump into the One UI 8 beta right now. The beta program is live for unlocked variants, so you can explore fresh features weeks before the public release. You'll get redesigned quick share, upgraded Samsung DeX with screen rotation, improved calendar and reminders, better secure folder, new camera gestures, AuraCast support, voicemail features, and new Samsung health challenges. And yes, this is all powered by Android 16, so you're also getting smoother multitasking, deeper personalization options, and stronger security, all wrapped up with the September 2025 security patch. Joining the beta is easy, just open your Samsung members app, look for the One UI Better registration banner, sign up, agree to the terms, and then head to settings to a software update to a download and install. But keep in mind, slots are limited, so if you wait too long, you might miss out. So the next few weeks are going to be packed. September 18 is just the beginning, and by mid-November, almost the entire Galaxy lineup will be running One UI 8. That means faster phones, smoother animations, smarter AI features, and a much more polished Galaxy experience across the board. If you've been on the fence about upgrading or switching to a newer model, this might be the update that makes your current phone feel brand new again. And now I wanna know, which feature are you most excited to try first? Is it the improved DeX, the customizable lock screen, or the new Galaxy AI upgrades? Drop your thoughts in the comments below because I'll be covering hidden features and pro tips in upcoming videos to help you get the most out of One UI 8. 